Soft capture confirmed. Hi there, welcome to Noctis on YouTube. For years, humans have been continuously creating and developing modern and sophisticated technology to transport astronauts in space. Not only for staying in space, these astronauts are also tasked with conducting research beneficial for the future. They can even stay in space for quite a long time, ranging from months to years. One of the agencies focusing on space exploration and research is the International Space Station, or commonly known as ISS. ISS is a modular space station located in low Earth orbit, precisely at an altitude of about 410 kilometers. ISS itself is a multinational collaborative project involving five space agencies such as NASA from the United States, Roscosmos from Russia, JAXA from Japan, CSA from Canada, and ESA from the European Union. Ownership and utilization of ISS are determined by agreements and treaties between governments. However, the ISS project was initially planned as a Freedom Space Station by NASA and was promoted during the presidency of Ronald Reagan. The purpose of establishing ISS is as a laboratory for microgravity and space environment research, which includes scientific research fields such as astrobiology, astronomy, meteorology, physics, and others. ISS also continually tests spacecraft systems and equipment required for potential long-term missions to the Moon and Mars in the future. According to the configuration in 2003, the ISS station weighs up to 360 tons and has a living space of 425 cubic meters. The station's length reaches 73 meters with a width of 52 meters and a height of 27.5 meters. It's no wonder that some say ISS is as spacious as a football field. The station orbits the Earth every 92 minutes. As of December 1, 2003, the station had completed 33,500 orbits since its launch on November 20, 1998. The reason ISS chose their research location in low Earth orbit is that the area is relatively safe for testing spacecraft systems needed for its long-term missions to the Moon and Mars. Referring to the Mars 500 experiment, the European Space Agency or ESA stated that the ISS plays a significant role in addressing questions regarding the potential impacts of weightlessness, radiation, and other specific space factors. Aspects such as long-term insulation effects can be better handled through ground-based simulations. Not only serving as research material for its astronauts, ISS also provides opportunities for many students on Earth by conducting experiments developed by students, conducting educational demonstrations, allowing student participation in class version ISS experiments, and involving students directly using radios, video links, and emails. 
Interestingly, a Canadian astronaut named Chris Hadfield participated in recording a music video titled Space Oddity by David Bowie in the space station. The video can be watched on YouTube and became the first music video recorded directly in space. So, what is life like and the atmosphere for astronauts living in space? The space station provides living quarters for each expedition crew member, with two sleeping quarters in Svesda, one in Nauka, and four others in Harmony. These sleeping quarters are private soundproof rooms designed for one adult with small windows. Due to the lack of gravity in space, each sleeping bag in the room will be feathered to the wall. The crew members can also engage in various other activities such as listening to music and using laptops. They can also store personal items in the large drawers or nets attached to the module walls. Besides sleeping bags, these rooms are also equipped with desks, shelves, and reading lamps. During crew rest periods, the lights on the ISS can be dimmed, turned off, or even the color temperature adjusted. There's something very unique about how astronauts eat. Most of the food on the ISS is vacuum sealed in plastic bags. They rarely use canned food because it's too heavy and expensive to transport into space. Spacecraft often carry various fresh fruits and vegetables for the crew to consume on the ISS. When eating, the crew must be careful not to let food crumbs spread inside the station. Therefore, liquid condiments are preferred over solid ones to avoid contamination of station equipment. Each crew member has individual food packages and can cook them in the ISS kitchen equipped with various facilities such as food warmers, refrigerators, and a water dispenser that also provides hot water. Drinks are provided in powder form to be mixed with water before consumption. Drinks and soups are sipped from plastic bags with straws, while solid foods are eaten with knives and forks attached to magnetic trays to prevent them from floating. If food crumbs spread, they must be collected immediately to prevent clogging of air filters or other equipment. To maintain personal hygiene, astronauts do not shower as usual on Earth because the ISS does not have a shower. Instead, crew members can clean themselves using wet towels and soap dispensed from containers like toothpaste tubes. The ISS also provides rinseless shampoo and toothpaste that can be consumed directly to save on clean water usage. For waste disposal, the ISS has an outer space toilet located in the Svesda, Tranquility, and Nauka modules. This waste and hygiene compartment uses a suction system powered by a pressure fan similar to the waste collection system of the Space Shuttle. Before using the toilet, astronauts will first strap themselves onto the toilet seat which also comes with spring-loaded handrails to ensure a good seal. The ISS toilet also has a lever to activate a strong suction system when the suction hole is open. The flush system on this toilet does not use water, so airflow directly sucks waste from the astronauts. 
the sucked waste will be automatically compacted and collected in individual bags stored in aluminium containers. When full, these containers will be transferred to the Progress spacecraft for disposal. Liquid waste will be removed through a hose connected to the front of the toilet with a urine funnel adapter anatomically attached to the tube. Thus, male and female crew members can use the same toilet. The separated urine is then collected and transferred to the water recovery system where it will be recycled into hygienic drinking water. ISS also provides exercise facilities in the form of a treadmill that crew members can use for exercise to ensure they do not lose muscle mass. Due to the lack of gravity, astronauts must strap themselves using special straps available on the treadmill. Living in a limited and distant space, coupled with their challenging tasks, sometimes makes the crew feel stressed and even begin to behave strangely. Therefore, ISS crew members are also provided with tranquilizers to stabilize their mental condition and remain capable of performing their activities while in space.